you, Anne. Um, we're really excited to be here. You know, my name is, is Jeff Aaron. I am uh, head of enterprise marketing here at, at Juniper. And I'm really just going to set the stage for just a, a really awesome array of speakers that's going to talk about, you know, a, a variety of things across our portfolio, primarily focused on the age-driven enterprise. Um, just to set the stage a little bit, um, Juniper last year, you know, announced what we, you know, really consider our true north, and, and it's around uh, experience-first networking. So it's kind of, you know, elevating the traditional way of looking at networks, you know, uh, against or away from just uptime and away from just speeds and fees, more towards actual user and, and operator experiences. And with that, it's about, you know, leveraging assurance and automation and just better insight where, um, you know, things like AI really lead to that equation. So today, you know, while we have this whole portfolio, everything from WAN routing to the data center to the campus and branch, what we call the AI-driven enterprise, which includes our wired, wireless, and SD-WAN, all part of the same MIST AI and, and cloud, today we're going to focus on that last bit, that AI-driven uh, enterprise. And in particular, the main focus is going to be on, on the SD-WAN. Why? Well, for one, Tom, you didn't bring this up. Today is 128. Why do you think we chose to go on the last day, right? And so, you know, 128 is obviously a, a key part of our portfolio. January 28th is like our Cinco de Mayo. It's the day that, you know, traditionally uh, we celebrate, um, you know, uh, uh, WAN, uh, the WAN edge, and, and we're going to do no less today. And so we're really excited about that. And so we're going to talk a, a lot about that. Um, also, why did we choose today? Well, yesterday actually was our earnings call. So we wanted to actually come in here and actually give real numbers to some of the amazing things that we've been seeing uh, last quarter and, and, and last year. And look, I mean, you may have sat through the earnings call, you know, and, and Rami and Ken have to follow a script and, uh, you know, meter their energy. I don't have to do that. And I can say that it's just been an amazing time right now for Juniper. Enterprise business, five years of consecutive growth, over $1.6 billion. Last quarter, records for Wi-Fi, records for wired access, triple digit growth for SD-WAN. I mean, we are literally hitting on all cylinders. And again, this AI driven enterprise, the campus and branch is a big reason for that. We get asked a lot when we talk about SD-WAN, well, you guys are, are, are late. So how do you mirror that same momentum, that same energy that you guys are doing in wired wireless in that space? And so there's three primarily use cases that we're focusing on that you're gonna hear about later today. The first one, full stack. You know, we have companies like a major uh, a, a global energy company, you know, a, a major global bank that say, look, we want wired, we want wireless, we want SD-WAN all together. We're going to do an RFP for everything. And when that comes out, we are, we are sitting pretty, right? Because again, we are the only vendor that has Wi-Fi, wired, uh, you know, SD-WAN all together, common AI engine, common cloud that really provides a lot of benefits in terms of automation and insight. Secondly, we go to the, all those great you know, wireless customers, those missed customers, wired customers um, who love using Marvis, who love using our assurance and say, wouldn't you love that to extend across the WAN? So leveraging that incumbency to expand to the WAN edge is our second biggest use case. And our third is applications hosted in the cloud. And the reason that's so important is when Reed talks about SSR, you're gonna hear one of the key things that make that different. And, th and that's the fact that it is a tunnel free technology. And so that really eliminates a lot of the overhead associated with, with using tunnels across the WAN. Now, that certainly helps on the, on the actual link side, but also that has a hidden savings in terms of WAN bandwidth uh, um, uh, hosting costs in the cloud. So anyone that's actually hosting their applications in the cloud, if they want to minimize those costs and avoid sticker shock that comes at the end of the month, we really help quite a bit by limiting those tunnels. So again, those are some of the, the, the top use cases, as you'll, you'll see that this also lends itself to a go-to-market that's especially angled towards MSPs. And again, these are the ones that are really embracing this, that are adopting this, and really taking this forward. And for that, we want to thank them, but also this is why we're really excited, okay? So what are we going to talk about today? So again, we are going to start off with the AI-driven enterprise and talk about how things are coming together. And in fact, we had a huge launch about a week ago where we finished off that last piece of bringing SSR into the MIST domain. A year ago, we started with day two operations. Last week, we announced that we now have day zero and day one, where you can actually just literally bring it into the cloud, do zero touch configuration, and do all those great things you did in wire wireless now on the WAN edge. We also announced things like new SSR hardware, which again, Reed will show a, 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 as part of his demo. But to start, Sidir Marta is gonna talk about that journey, that AI-driven enterprise, that client to cloud, how we got here and where we're going. 
Then we got Reed and Adam that are kind of come in and do that double click on SSR, that amazing technology that we got from 128. They're going to show a demo, again, showing some of those things we announced last week. And Tom, as you brought Prod out, um, you know, we can't come to an NFT and not talk about the rest of that, that, that portfolio. So we're going to talk about the, our wired piece and some of the latest enhancements there. And obviously, uh, uh, hitting, hitting cleanup is Wes Purvis is going to talk about some of the, the latest Wi-Fi enhancements.